Triple D has pretty much been unplayable in any format where this one card is legal. Luckily for us today, this card is not because we're playing in the Legends Anthology using the different Dimension Demons deck, Lenocopus deck from Arc V. Now, this deck is, again, I, I do love this deck. I would be a stretch to say it's a favorite of mine. I used to play it back in the day. I used to have a lot of, a lot of fun with it. Uh, but Maxi and Ash and basic sort of interruption makes it, this deck's far, far too prone to interruption, right? So because most of those generic hand traps are out the window, this deck's pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. I just, we just hopped in, did a couple of quick practice games. Not too much. Um, I'm still a little bit rusty with the deck, but you know what? We're gonna hop in. We're gonna have some fun playing the deck live in the Legend Anthology because, hell yeah, we're just having a blast doing that. So if you want to catch this as well as anything else, of course, that we post on this channel, make sure you're subscribed to catch our daily content. And like this video if you want to help us get our goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. A bit of a goal, I know. Maybe a stretch. We might hit it. We might not. Who knows? But if you want to help your boy get there, button's right there. Hit the like. Help it get this video out to more people. Let's just hop right in. We're feeling good. We're feeling hyped up today. So we are. We're going to play some Triple D. Now, I don't know uh, if you're when you're watching this, obviously, it will have already been over. But we also live stream on this channel, if you didn't know. Uh, I will actually be going live today as of recording, yesterday as of you seeing this. So if you want to catch our future live streams, make sure you subscribe and you check that one out as well. We were almost certainly playing in the Legend Anthology. At least that's my plan. But if I'm wrong, you can back check and let me know. So we're going to... Ooh. <laughs> It's a pretty nice hand. Nouvelle, is this an anime deck? I don't think it is. I think I'm being fucking lied to, Konami. What the fuck is this? I am pretty sure I am being deceived. I don't think this is an anime deck at all. Um, but it's a deck that we're playing, apparently. So, Passionaire de Nouvelle, or Nouvelle. I don't know how to fucking say this shit. I would apologize, but it's French, so I don't care. Um... Meat recipe. I'm glad that they put it in parentheses. That's almost funnier. They could have just not did that because the actual name of the card does doesn't matter. Uh, like, but no, they did, and that's that's almost just funnier. Okay, so they got this little fucking dork. Uh, what do you do again? Discard summon. Check the top five of the deck. If you do, add a Nouvelle card to your hand. Okay. This guy places himself into the pendulum zone. That's fine. Gonna check the top five. Of course, he hits him right off the off the bat. That one Imperm and one Veiler in deck, meaning there's two Veilers possibly in his hand. We don't know. Uh, up to two. So the likelihood of them being in his hand is quite low, considering two of them are still in deck. Uh, one card we're aware of now. You're going to target a monster in the field. That's going to trigger this effect because they all activate when they're targeted, don't they? It does indeed. What does it actually do, though? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. And... Oh, no. Going to do that. All right. Oh, summoning out the blue moron. Okay, we're just tagging out idiots now, I guess. Who give this food a stand? What the fuck? Why is this fucking? Why is this dish from JoJo? What the fuck is going on here? God damn you! And why is it looking looking at me so seductively? So, oh brother, give it a break. What is she fucking? Is she double shift? What's going on here? Is she working two jobs? Get the fuck off my field! Nobody asked you to be here. Right, so this card's annoying. That, 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 we don't know what this is. It could be, a, it's probably a trap though, obviously. Oh, did we manage to put that one together ourselves? Ooh, one for one's nice though. Oh, one for one is very nice. Gonna normal summon the Kepler. Because it's potentially gonna be at, uh, an interruption, which would be nice. I would like it to be at an interruption. That would be ideal. Because a lot of people think like, oh, just negate the normal summon and win. Because it's, yeah, there you go. He has a Veiler in hand. What a fucking scumbag, man. What the hell? Um, so, a lot of people think you just negate the Kepler win, and if you have a bad hand, that would be correct. Kepler can be a difficult negate to play through if you're bad at the video game. But luckily for us, uh, we're, I mean, we're still bad at the video game, but slightly less than what our opponent thinks we are. We can do a few things here. Let's start with Dark Contract with the Gate. This is the card we would have searched off of Kepler, so like that, that's why I went for Kepler first, because it didn't matter if you negated this. What the fuck is you? What is you? Uh, I tribute up to three fairy monsters, special on this card. Uh, you summoned you, you tributed one. Um Did he tribute He tributed two! Oh shit! Oh no, he popped a card! What a fucking doofus! Oh, what a fucking ninny! God damn it. Oh, he's double stacked in the pendulum zones, huh? 
That shit is not once per turn. This dude to be fucking double cheeked up in the pendulum zones. Okay, right. Okay, right. We're gonna have to reevaluate this then. Let's go for the double D swirl slime. Gonna activate this to fusion summon. All right. Now you have a spell trap to get on my turn, right? Yeah. So I can do that. Uh, is that smart? I'm gonna go for this guy first. Yeah. So we're gonna fuse our two in hand to go into the High King Genghis. The High King himself. Oh wait, I don't have a monster left to discard for one for one. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. It's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. <laughs> uh, we should have went for that other fucking idiot. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Why are you stressing out? Stop stressing out. Chill. Relax. We're sweet. We got this. We got this. Relax. Calm down. Okay, so we go Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is going to set up our skills. Going to get skilling. Ever. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine at all, actually. Uh, in fact, that would be quite the opposite of fine, if I am if I would say so myself. Let me see, what do you do? Or when a monster is targeted, or when a monster is targeted for an attack, not just him, so a monster. You contribute a novel monster, you control, and one attack position monster on either field, and if you do, special summon one level four, uh, level four or five novel ritual monster. So that's kind of cringe. That's kind of cringe. Not going to lie. This card is destroyed. Okay, it's only when destroyed. Shit, man. Imperm and... Veiler. Damn, it's almost as if we came to this game with to get away from those cards. I, I, I don't want to trigger your bullshit, my guy. I really don't want to trigger your bullshit. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I really don't want to trigger that bullshit. So I'm going to go for uh, Davy Sex Machinist. I'm simply going to pass turn. Then we're going to immediately flip up our Continuous Trap. We don't need to use its effect. I just need to face up. Up a kit. That's fine. Uh, so we get the little bot boost, which is nice. Don't worry about that, though. So we, I mainly want this face up, so we've got a card to pop for the Divisor King's effect. Going to go Preparation of Rights. Got double Novell in the in the pendulum zones. Do you do anything in pendulum zone? I think I should have like seen that last turn. If you control a ritual monster, target a monster in the field, special summon this card, and then change that monster's battle position. All right, so you're gonna target this dork. Okay. Let me see. Once per turn, when a monster card your opponent controls activates its effect. Doesn't that just stop you? Let me let me try it. Let me let me see if this works the way I think it does. It might not. Uh, let me see though. I feel like it. I feel like it wouldn't give me the prompt if it wouldn't work. Yeah, and because it's technically a spell card at the time of fizzles. But don't you still activate because you were still targeted? Or does a fizzle before the targeting is even successful and there, thus this card doesn't activate? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what happens. Ooh, gonna go for the ritual spell. Gonna have to summon your ritual monsters like a regular fucking Yu-Gi-Oh player? God, heaven forbid. Heaven forbid you have to use ritual spells to summon your monsters. Look at this whole fucking New York dork. What is she doing? Where is your nose? Right, what are you doing? Special summon negate the effects. Negate the effects of all cards. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, well, piece of card your board currently controls until the end of this turn. Then, if this card was special summoned by the effect of a Nouvelle monster, you contribute as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. It was not. It was ritual summoned via spell card. And activated its effect. Target attack position monster contribute it. God damn. Well, that's not fun. Is that lethal? That's okay, 44, 54, 50. oh yeah, that's lethal, okay. Aye, bro, you got it. Aye, bro, you got it. Unfortunate opening hand there into the Veiler Imperm uh, combo. Not a nice thing to be playing against, but I'm not going to bitch about it. Let's just get into the next game. 
You know, sometimes I read comments um, in the comment section, right? Because I because I read everybody's comments as much as much as I can do. Um, and I think some people like, misunderstand the point of the content I post, and they're looking at my channel as if I'm trying to like post objectively like competitive or correct content. Like that's not my goal here. I'm here to have fun. Ooh. It's a good hand. It's new on. This is actually a pretty solid hand. One for one makes this a lot better. Uh, we're not going to make the same mistake we did last time, though, in committing all of our... Oh, brother. Yes. Double Melody of the Awakening Dragon. What a fucking stacked hand. Okay. Alternative White Dragon and the Jet Dragon the hand. He's already got the blue eyes, BMA. Let's go. Gonna activate Cards of Consonance. Oh, lo he is literally that guy. That's an insane combo right there. That's, that's so much advantage, man. He just added one of every blue eyes to hand, including the OG art. Uh, he still has three cards in hand that we don't even know of yet. One of them is Siege? There's no way he's got multiple Siege, right? There's no way. Grabbing a Veiler. Very smart ad. Very smart ad. Could have traded a Veiler for Veiler on that one. Blue eyes Spirit Dragon is lethal. Uh, legal, sorry, legal. Not lethal. Definitely not lethal. But it is legal. In fact, it's actually going to be quite dangerous against us because we do activate a lot of shit in Crave. And we also like the Pendulum Summon. Uh, pendulum Summon's not a huge thing to Triple D. So maybe we'll survive. We'll be fine. We got that Spirit Dragon on deck. Got a Veiler in hand. We've got Jet and OG Blue. No shot. My boy is not fucking done yet. For Return of the Dragon Lord. So the big thing about Return of the Dragon Lord is bring him back a Blue Eyes White Dragon is not a huge deal, right? But having this in Grave means he can now protect one of his dragons from destruction, which is a pretty big deal. Um Right. We really need to we really need to be careful here. Ooh, Keplar. That could be a problem. Um Hmm, 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 hmm. Zone, target of DD, change its level to four. Okay, right, okay, right. I'm going to activate Swirl Slime. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we are going to go into Genghis. Let's grab Uno. Let's grab Dose, I believe. Cerberus. Cerberus. We can fuse this guy away. I kind of want to keep Keplar. Uh, Nate has a really good normal summon, but I think I think Keplar is just better. Given the circumstances, I think uh, Keplar is just better. So we're gonna get rid of Nate Hub. Got that Genghis on deck. Big girl Genghis. Because you, you only get your resummon off of yeah, off of normal summon, not special summon. Damn, unfortunate. Unfortunate, but it's okay. It could be worse. Could be worse. Let's go for... Let's go for one for one. I'm going to drop this Veiler. I don't think this Veiler is nearly valuable enough for us. Uh, I think it's fine. We're going to one for one. We're going to summon out... Oh, I thought we would have more options. I'm not going to lie. Guess we summon Lamia. This should be at him into using this. Uh, which we will use to bring back the Night Hull. Veiler? Probably wants to Veiler this. Right? You want to Veiler this. Come on, you know. Oh, he doesn't. He does not want to Veiler this. Okay, uh, then I guess we normal summon a Kepler. Kepler, Kepler, whatever. Activate this. Let's get searching. Not gonna feel that either. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. If this card is in hand or graveyard, you can send it. Um, yeah, okay. So we go for the dark contract, right? Activate it.
So now we're going to synchro. I believe we synchro into Alexander here. Using Lamia and Genghis. We're going a little bit off script here. We're going a little bit off script. Uh, trust. I know, I know. So assuming he does nothing here. That's right, he shouldn't do anything here, right? Like, we know that. Uh, I am going to go for the Dark Contract. Uh, he's saving the Veiler for the Gilgamesh, and I'm not going to let that happen. And I have a way to stop that from happening. I just need you to bear with me. I need you to bear with me. We have a way to stop that from happening. We're going to go for the Necroslime. Now we're going to go Lamia's effect. We're going to discard the Necroslime. I really want to trigger Alexander here, which is why I'm doing this. I don't want to like, just waste my Alexander, right? I want to get, my, get the most out of all my cards. So I want to do this as well. We're going to bring back the... It doesn't really matter which one. Necroslime is fine. Whatever. Boom. Just as many monsters on board as I can physically get. And then we go into this guy. So this guy, uh, basically, while face up, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects. Untargetable instantly. Night Hull and Alexander. Boom. We're untargetable. What are you going to do? You can't target my Gilgamesh anymore. You missed your chance with the Veiler. You can't do it. You missed your chance. You missed your chance. Unfortunate, sir. Let me see... Never monster, normal or special summon. This card's in the field. You can make your opponent choose one pendulum monster they control. And all other monsters they control have their effects negated. Uh, I'm not sure if that works if they like don't have a monster in the pendulum zone. I've, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It'd be cool as hell if it did. Not gonna lie, that'd be pretty beast. Uh, do we necro slime here? Don't want to use, I don't want to use the Lamia yet, but I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that it's in, in a Link Arrow spot, which is annoying, but I'm also, I don't think that that's going to matter too much. Uh, so the skills with Gilgamesh, the skills with Gilgamesh I'm still a little bit fuzzy on in terms of my memory. Uh, I know for a damn fact we want this guy, because this guy's nuts. Um, the other one, however, I remember being quite flexible. I might grab this one. Let me see. As a Pendulum Monster, banish two double Ds from Grieve, special summon this card. We will have plenty of double Ds in Grieve. So I think we might go for this guy. During your opponent's turn at this card in hand or graveyard, you can talk about two. Okay, special summon moss. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we want to go for him. We can't pendulum summon if we do that, but I don't think that was really on the cards anyway. Let's go for this. Right. I could be wrong here. I could be wrong. I'm a little bit fuzzy on all of the specific details of what we want to use these cards for. So, like, cut me some slack. But uh, I think I think we're fine, honestly. I think we're very fine. <laughs> I think we're so fine that it's not even funny. Uh, so let me get the fusion summon using the Necro Slam and Grave. That's fine. I, I figured that would eat that negate eventually. That That's fine. I literally don't care. I do not care, sir. That is absolutely A-OK -okay by me. So we've got a couple of options. The option we're going to go for is Swirl Slime. Let's get swirling. We're going to summon this DD Cerberus from our hand. Just to get another thing out there. That's basically just to trigger this. Which will bring back another card from our graveyard. Uh, now, do we have anything in particular we want to summon? Uh, we could go into Siegfried here. That'd be pretty. Uh, that'd be pretty dope, actually. Siegfried would be pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. It would be. I think I will. Yes. Yes, I think I will. Let's go, Siegfried. We can't go lethal here because this, I'm pretty sure, has the damage he takes for the rest of the turn. Yeah. So he, we're not gonna be able to kill him. But uh, we're going to get real close. We're going to get real close. <laughs> what are you... What's your attack? 27. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Do you have, like, another effect? Hang on. No, you don't. Okay. That's okay as well. Alright. Siegfried does not get bigger or anything of the sort. That is also okay. Alright, let's activate you. Let's banish, banish. 
We're just getting as big as possible to get as many licks in as we can. So long as we control this synchro dude, we're pretty much fine. I'd be shocked if he could do anything to us. I really would be. I would be astonished. Shocked and astonished. So I'm going to get rid of... Let's put in his hand graveyard. I guess I'm going to get rid of this guy. Let's go Siegfried. Alrighty. Then we go to Vaser over our Gilgamesh. And we're just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna do some, some big damage is the plan. Some big damage is the plan. Swing into the Spirit Dragon. He might panic and, like, tag it out, which would be so pointless. Like, I'll do... I'll take it. You wanna do that? Oh, he gets protected. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, that makes me rethink things. Oh, I forgot about that. Shit, man. I was just going to crash the vaser and start swinging. But, um... Damn, that does, that does hurt. I think with the vaser and... Armageddon, we're fine, though, right? What does he do? He can't, like, alternative pop us because we're untargetable. He can crash, I guess. If he really wanted to. But then he loses his battle phase to go for lethal. I don't know what your... I don't know what your play is. I really don't. This is a tough situation for him. I wonder if we could maybe alter our extra deck to take slightly better advantage of that situation. I felt like we were, we were kind of lacking. But I don't know. I think that, that might just be a case of... Like, we had a weird combo setup and... Triple D only has the ability to take advantage of so much. Like if that if that uh, Necro Slam had a, like resolved, we would have popped off, right? Shit would have went nuts, but we didn't, right? So maybe it's just a case of we didn't get to set up the resources the way we would have wanted to, and that's why it looks weird. I don't know. I really like the Bright Armageddon though. I've never ever actually used this card in Triple D, but I really like. Uh, I really sort of, when I reread it, I really like the value, and it gave me a reason to play Night Howl as well. You don't need Night Howl to summon it. You can summon it for other ways. But Night Howl makes it way, way easier. So I think we did pretty well here. Our, our opponent's going to struggle to break this. They really are. Okay, they're going to do that. That's fine. Going to summon out another Light Dragon. What do you... Uh, sir, you still... Sir, you still target... Huh? What are you... Are you gonna go Synchro 8 in the Scarlight? That'd be fucked up. Oh, Crystal Wing! Oh! That shit's beast! Oh, shit! God damn! Activate a spell or trap. Please activate a spell or a trap. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, once per turn. During damage calculation. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. Okay. Panic time. Activating Siegfried. We're going to negate Dark Contract. He's going to activate Crystal Wing. Yes! No? Why couldn't I... Was it already too late? Did I leave it too late? Did I fuck up? Oh, I might have fucked up. Why couldn't I react to Crystal Wing with the Vaser King? Oh, what? Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Am I stupid? Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I get to pop you, which is neat. Uh, what does that do when destroyed? Oh, I guess we gain a, Okay, we gain some life back. But I had it! Oh, did I misunderstand? Maybe... 
Was that not was that not battle step? I thought I activated it in battle step. Can I not use you in battle step? It's protein. Maybe it wasn't battle step. Maybe I let it go on too long. Um, that's that's very possible. I don't know. I, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss, Chief. But all I can say for sure is it's not looking good for you. Oh, brother. Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing's nuts. Crystal Wing's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. I think we literally just have to crash the Visor King into it. And pray. <laughs> just crash, crash the Visor King and pray. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um... What does this do? No, I'm not gonna place you in the pendulum zone. Are you fucking nuts? Are you insane? I I mean I guess I can just hope he tries to negate this. Okay, I activate this. We're gonna bring a card back. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I did not want to do that. <laughs> oh no, that was not smart. I thought I had more options. I don't have any options. Okay, he's not going to crystal wing the gate. That's interesting. Uh, sending a card to graveyard. Sending a card to graveyard. We got a few options. We can send the vice Typhon. Let's do that. Let's send, let's send Typhon and we'll just test the waters, right? Let's see. Okay, we're gonna go weave King Caesar. Triple D fusion. Okay, let's do this, I guess. Let's go Vice Typhon. He lets it go. Very interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna do these two then. Fusion summon into the High King Genghis. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Fuck it. We have to get rid of Crystal Wing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Crystal Wing is fucking clutch as hell. Uh, activate, please. Timer. Timer is happening. Um, right. Me and is... Sure. Special summon. I don't have time for this. I really don't have time. I'm just going to go Caesar and do Deus Ex, uh, Deus Ex Machinus. This going to trigger you. You're going to bring your card back. You're going to bring back, I don't know, Gilgamesh, I guess. I don't fucking care. You're going to set skills, because you can. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Uh, too much to think about. Too much to think about uh, here and here. Not enough time. Too much. Too many tasks. Not enough time. Okay. So activating Wave Caesar was a mistake. Then we would have been able to use this guy twice. But I was panicking because of the timer. Man, I thought we had this in fucking Crystal Wing? What a fucking G. What a fucking G. Like, I can't even be annoyed. That's, that's, what a fucking play. I would never have seen this coming. Never would I have seen that coming. That was a fucking play, sir. I'm, I'm impressed. I, I like that. That was a really fucking cool play. This guy has, has, has impressed me. Uh, do you bounce and damage calc? Damage step. Uh, I don't know if you can be using damage step. You probably can. I think you can. So, right. So, battle step. You can activate as many chains as you want. You're not restricted. That's why I got tripped up last time. I could have. I could have swore I was going to be able to use it. But um, damage step. There's one chain is allowed to activate and resolve. 
then you have damage calculation uh, and damage step afterwards. Wait, no, 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 damage calculation and... Yeah, no, that's it, isn't it? Battle phases are weird. I always forget this, the specifics. I know how they work, but I always forget the names of each, like, part. Um, okay. Damage step, I should, should, fingers crossed, be able to use Machinix to suck up that Jet Dragon. Okay, takes out Genghis. Unless it just doesn't activate its effect, in which case, fair enough. He does activate it. Can I? I cannot. Fuck. Fuck. Apparently, I know nothing. Apparently, I, apparently, I'm stupid. Apparently, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about anyone. Um. Okay. Return of the Dragon Lords. I can't play for another indestructible crystal wing! Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh no! <laughs> I can't do that again! I committed so much to getting rid of it the first time! Why is this not- does this just not work in the battle phase? Like, why does Machinix just not work? I must just be misunderstanding the card. Once per chain, when a monster card your opponent controls activates its effect, quick effect, you can either detach two materials or destroy that. If you do, attach that opponent's card to this card's material. Well, I, I don't, I must just be misunderstanding something. I may just be dumb. That's very, very, very possible. Let's not discount that possibility. Very possible that, I, that I'm just stupid. Okay. It's not over yet, though. It is not over yet. Go for the Abyss, King Gilgamesh. We are going to activate our contract. Using its effect, we're going to search our deck for a card. We're going to search our deck for... What are we going to search our deck for? Uh-huh. That's fine. I don't think any of these are, like, especially good right now. What have I got in my extra deck? What tools have I got available to me? Not not much. Not much, Chief. I'm not gonna lie. This, it, not much. Fuck, man. He just has me. He's just got my fucking number, man. Yeah, I've got nothing here. I can activate this. Uh, he'll probably just negate it. Maybe that's where I go with the vet. Maybe that. Maybe I just gotta suck that up there. Actually, maybe I'm. You know what? That could have been my last attempt, and I, I might have just blown it by not doing this first. Why can't they use your effect? By the way. Oh, your, your pendulum effect is good, not your regular effect. God damn it. All right, that last turn I misplayed. I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to be honest. I could have went to Vazor King and then went for the Necrofusion to protect it from the Crystal Wing. He might still have negated, but I would have been able to suck up the Crystal Wing. I just wouldn't have been able to deal with the rest of the board. Like, there's no, like, if ands, ors, or buts about that. I just didn't have the gas to deal with the rest of that board. Fair enough. Get fucked, I guess. Just... <laughs> Get fucked. It's that easy. Uh, next game, let's go. You know what? Not the greatest start to the video when you take it two L's back to back. I really thought we had that one though. That crystal wing was fucking was based as hell. Uh, getting back to my original point, like about like people coming to this channel as if I'm here to give some sort of siege competitive expert advice. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to provide fun gameplay and deck ideas. That's it. Um. So yeah, we just got fucked. <laughs> Anytime you see Swirl Slime, your hand is salvageable. Doesn't matter what else is in your hand, your hand is salvageable if you have Swirl Slime. Uh, 100%. So this is definitely a manageable hand. So Copernicus is also a really good normal summon. Uh, get a Dark Contract. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I see you. We can do a few things here then. I am going to hold on to that contract for now. We're going to go for Swirl Slime. 
So I'm going to fusion summon. Uh, we're going to fuse Swirl Slime and Air Copernicus. We're going to summon out Genghis. Two Fear Stones means that we're probably going to catch an L at some point. Uh, he's going to negate something at some stage. Judgment, maybe? Judgment's a one-off. It'd be unlikely. Uh, oh, almost ended my turn by accident. That would have been unfortunate. Okay, so now we got a few options. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go Swirl Slime to summon out Burfamit. And then that'll trigger the Genghis to bring back Copernicus. Yeah, okay, so you're out. That'll trigger Genghis. Bring back Copernicus. There's the Imperm. Okay, that's a manageable Imperm. That is totally manageable. I can make that work. That's fine. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, okay. Let's start with the Dark Contract. Activating its effects. Let's see what we can grab from our deck. Uh, I can grab a Kepler here, which I would probably prefer. Kepler here is pretty solid. Uh, then again, no, I don't think I will grab Kepler. I think milling the um, milling the Necro Slime off Copernicus is, is much more value off my normal summon. At that stage, I might as well just not play him at all. So I think what I'm going to do is grab potentially Lamia. For what purpose, though? <laughs> let's grab let's grab Lamia. Let's just get Lamia in the rotation. Right? Because uh, we can use this card's effect from hand. I would rather use it from Grave, obviously. Uh, but we can use it from hand, which is which is worth bearing in mind. So we're gonna use Copernicus. We're gonna mill a card. Milling the Necro Slime is pretty huge value, so it is. Uh, so we're gonna mill Necro Slime here. There we go. So you require double D level five or higher. Uh, that is a-okay. I can facilitate that. No problem, sir. I can facilitate that. So we're going to activate our Burfamit's effect. Going to target our Copernicus. Going to make it level six. This is a little bit extra. Don't get me wrong. This part, probably extra. But we're going to do it nonetheless. Because I can use these two now to go into my Wave King. And Wave King is a super powerful card. Weave King is a really powerful monster. That's basically a non once per turn summon to get, which is awesome. Right, now we're going to go Lamia's effect. Lamia going to drop the... Uh, well, we could drop the contract, actually, which is interesting. I don't think I will, but we could. That's worth noting. That is definitely worth noting. All right, perfect. We grab this guy. Now we can use these two to bring out Gilgamesh. And we also have our Necro Slime set up in our graveyard, which is nice as well. So let's not forget about that. Uh, we got the Gilgamesh on deck. There we are. Going to use its effect to set up our skills. There's the Veiler. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts my feelings. I'm not going to lie, Chief. I'm not going to lie. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Kind of rude. We're not over yet, though. So we're going to go for the Necro Slime. Perfection. So we're going to grab the High King here. We're going to fuse these two from our graveyard. Summoning out the High King Genghis. And assuming this is nothing, we should have Lethal. Because this will go into our Machinix. Genghis then will bring back a card, but that literally doesn't matter. Uh, we'll bring back, I don't know, Burfamet for, I don't know, culture sake. I don't fucking care. Great. And yeah, GG's. Hell yeah! Playing through multiple interruptions as well. That's pretty fucking solid. I'll take that. Not only was that a dub, that was a fucking earned dub. We fucking got that shit. Next game. Triple D has fucking combos for days. Now, that is a perfect demonstration of what the deck can do. And it's really, really... Again, I'm just super impressed. I think the deck's very solid in a format that allows it to actually play cards. It's not a good deck, right? It's not. It's probably not even an, like a great deck in the context of this event, right? There's almost certainly better ones. But it just has 
a, a presence, right, that you just can't deny, right? It has really cool combo potential, tons of really great follow-up, and some of its boss monsters are just incredible. This Bright Armageddon in particular is just a fucking game ender, man. So, so strong. This is a relatively decent hand. We can make this hand work. Copernicus is the normal summon of choice here, so we're not going to be searching for Kepler. Uh, we're going to be searching instead for... Swirl Slime? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got that Typhon in, in hand as well. Oh, this is actually a really solid hand. Yeah, damn. So we're going to go for the little Swirl Slime. Starting off with our Genghis. Good stuff, good stuff. Got Genghis on deck. Genghis on deck. So now we're going to normal summon the Copernicus. So normally I would send the, um... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Drinking Wind Fizz, you can fusion summon at one level 8 or higher. Is that restriction going to matter? It means I can't summon out a second Genghis. But it means I can summon out you. So I think I can make that restriction work. Yeah, and the reason I want to make that restriction work is because I kind of want to put Lamia in the rotation and not just send Necroslime. I think Lamia in play would be somewhat better. I think, right? I could be wrong. I'm just thinking out loud. Lamia would set up a potential... So we could set up Alexander here, for example. Yeah, I think Lamia is better. We, we mill the Lamia, activating its effect. Uh, we're going to activate Lamia's effect here. We're going to drop a card from our hand. We're going to drop the Divine Zero. So again, this puts another Triple D on our grave to be used as huge material and things like that. So we're not eating an Elder. Genghis is going to bring a card back from grave. I forgot about that shit. We can even do something like that. Uh, we could bring out the Divine Zero if we want to. I guess we... I guess. Why not? Doesn't matter. I'm just going to end up linking it off with Copernicus anyway. So it's not as if it matters much. But, you know, I'll take it. It's a little extra. Who doesn't like a little extra? Alright, perfect. We got that Alexander on deck. Excellent. So now we're going to use Uno and Dos. Would have been nice to have Night, um, Night Howl in rotation right now. But you can't have everything, I guess. Activating you. Is there like a... Oh, what? Oh, it's only level 4 or lower with this guy, I forgot. Um, is there like a good rank 7 or something that these guys play? I think it's only 4, 5, and 6, and 3, sorry, that these guys play. I don't think there's a good one, but um, it'd be real cool if there was. Not gonna lie, be pretty beast. So I want a low scale here, because I can actually Pendulum Summon. <laughs> so I want a lower scale than what I would normally do. I think Orphos is a good one. Could do Cerberus too. Ah, uh, Cerberus might honestly be better, just because it can it can modulate level. Even if it ends up not doing it, the fact that it can means it's probably better. Oh, it's a six scale though. Fuck, it's not a free scale. Orphos is the free scale. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> well, that was dumb. That was a little bit stupid. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go, Genghis. I guess. Let's go, Genghis. Um. Yeah, we didn't think that one through at all, did we? We did not think that one through at all. Huh. Shit. <laughs> that's that's not good. That is unfortunate, sir. Un for two not. Let me see. What is your fusion requirements? Level five or higher D. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right, right. Right. Desperate desperate hands call for desperate measures. Trust. I'm uh, gonna go Gilgamesh again. Just so we can use the Vice Typhon. To summon out the big Genghis. Gonna banish the Gilgamesh from Grave. Summoning out the big Genghis. And I... You're a level 8. Damn. I don't play any rank yet, man. Y'all need to fucking play cards that I play. Except triple D. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah, I kind of fucked this up. I'm not going to lie to you, Chief. I didn't even mean to press that button, but it literally doesn't matter. Because I don't actually have a level 4 engrave. If I had a level 4 engrave, it might have it might have mattered, but I, I literally don't. So it doesn't, it literally doesn't even matter. Uh, I could go Swirl Slime from Grave now, but it doesn't do anything. Fuck it. Uh, we're just going to go Divisor King and pray. Divisor King and pray. What, a, what an excellent play. What we do have is an absolute metric shitload of follow up. Uh, assuming our board doesn't get instantly wiped. But, you know, Master Duel. I did fuck this combo up a little bit, and Triple D, not the easiest deck to pilot, especially when you've been away from it for as long as I have. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I played this deck. Ooh, we got that emergency call. He is calling for an emergency, grabbing a hero from his deck to his hand, grabbing Honest Neos. That's not a good sign for me. That is, in fact, a rather unfortunate thing to see. Nevertheless, we shall persevere. What is your attack points? Okay, 2800, yeah, so not, not small not, not small enough to be hit with an Aqua Dolphin off the rip, I would say. One would argue, one would assume, going for Stratos, straight for Battle Phase. Oh shit, you're wasting no time, huh? Yeah, damn. You fucked my whole day up. You know what? I'm actually kind of okay with that. That means, like, I'm alive. Oh, brother. I mean, you can only go Blast, though, right? He can go Masked Hero Blast, which will allow him to have the attack points on one of my monsters, which sucks, don't get me wrong, so he'll be able to take out one more monster. Um, probably Big Genghis, I would say. He probably wants rid of Big Genghis. Oh, he goes rid of Alexander, okay. Fur. I get it. I get it. Taking out the Alexander. Uh, I think that matters too much, right? Yeah, because I can just bring it back off of Big Genghis. So, um, yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job, my fellow hero player. But, um, unfortunately, this is, this is, this is Triple D. You don't get off that easy against Triple D. Shit better get real sad for you. Shit's about to get real fucking sad. Uh, we're going to go for the Dark Contract with the whatever that says, the Gate. So we can actually go Night Owl, which would be funny. Uh, this Fiend locks me, but I'm only playing Fiends anyway. Uh, I don't... I, I, the, so the funny thing is, right, That would be that's so extra because I'm already able to revive everything in my graveyard. <laughs> um... Part of me wants to do it anyway, though, which is so dumb. Like, that's such a bad play. Do you activate on normal summon? It does. Okay, right. So I can literally grab... Um, I can literally grab Copernicus. And there's a reason for this. So I can use Copernicus. Um, we activate it, Chain Link 1. Genghis, Chain Link 2. Genghis is going to bring back Alexander. Right, that's fine. Okay, back, back comes Alexander. That's oh, that's very good, good for us. Copernicus then mills the Night Hull. Then we Genghis to bring back the Night Hull. Do not Ragnarok because Ragnarok will have the damage that you inflict for the rest of that turn. So if you can avoid using it, avoid using it because we want to can't we kind of want to win this turn. I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of looking to win this turn. So now we're going to use Uno and Dos. And the big, bad, bright Armageddon. This card's fucking insane. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else. I got Swirl and Grave, right? Yeah, I got Swirl and Grave. So we activate this. Special out the Regulus, or Regular whatever. Vice, Vice King Requiem. And yeah, lethal pretty much, right? Question mark. We just turn Genghis into Divisor to be safe. And then lethal. I think so. 
let's, 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 go, let's go battle phase. Let's find out. He did use Honest Neos, unless he has two. In which case, I will be very upset. But I'm going to risk it. Okay, he does not. And that should be, like, easy lethal, right? Hell yeah! I'll take it! We misplayed it everything! But combos are fucking combos, my guy. You cannot escape the combos. And there you have it! That is Triple D! Uh, again, deck feels really good. I think it is definitely... <laughs> These types of events uh, where the most powerful hand traps in the game, like Ash Blossom, Maxi, and things are banned, are the only time you're ever going to see a deck like Triple D be viable until something happens in in ranked right the ban of max c would likely give this deck a lot more viability because it's one significant less weakness to worry about um but then again the whole like meta then would kind of tilt and it's hard to tell right but in a format like this where hand trap usage is limited and board breaker usage is limited and you have a lot of really 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 powerful tools that you can use to set up as in some cases just totally unbreakable boards it's very, it's very good. It's very powerful. It feels nice to play. Uh, yeah, so if you're a Triple D fan and you've been waiting for an excuse to play the cards. Also, not to mention, cheap as dirt. Like, there's, what, no main deck URs? Zero? And in the extra deck, we got one, two, three. Okay, three. Three URs for the whole deck. And that's it. And, and it's entirely transferable over to ranked. Again, you're not, like, missing anything major other than, like, what you might run a second Griffin. But, I mean, one is fine as well. So this is basically the same list you would run in ranked, except maybe Kali Yuga. But Kali Yuga is really not that good in this deck. Uh, but yeah, that's the full deck. Again, we got all the way through the gems part. I'm not going all the way to this title, so i um, not doing it. So that's pretty much the last deck I'm going to play in the Legend Anthology. So I guess we're not streaming this later on. But if you do want to catch any more videos, of course, or any of our live streams in the future, make sure you're subscribed to catch notifications as they come out every single day. Like the video to make sure you can help us push this video to as many people as possible. Like I said, aim for that 10k by the end of the year. It is a huge goal. I don't know if we're going to hit it. I don't know, but if y'all want to help me out, you know how. Buttons are right there. But anyways, I'll not waste your time here this evening. You guys take care. Bye-bye.